Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ispaq Samun Vilags. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, silent features of Indian constitution. Uh, lecture third for class 11th, subject political science, book one, constitution of India. Uh, topic is silent features of Indian constitution. Uh, before uh, discussing the main topic, uh, we will see uh, uh, that the Constitution of India establishes a federal system of government. It contains uh, all the usual features of federal uh, federation, uh, such as uh, two governments, division of powers, written constitution, and the supremacy of the constitution, the rigidity of the constitution, independent judiciary, and bicameralism. Uh, we will uh, discuss all these things uh, in the lecture. Uh, so be with me till the end of the lecture. Uh, let's uh, get started. Uh, number one, it is the lengthiest written constitution in the world. The concept India is the lengthiest of all the written constitutions of the world. Uh, it is a very comprehensive and detailed document. Uh, several factors that have contributed to its L uh, Fenty elephantine size uh, include the need to accommodate the vast diversity of the country a single constitution for both the center and states the presence of legal experts and luminaries in the constituent assembly etc uh, drawn from various sources the constitution, constitution of india has borrowed most of its provisions from the government of india act of 1935 as well as from the constitution of various uh, other countries uh, blend of rigidity and flexibility constitutions uh, are classified into rigid requires a special procedure for its amendment and flexible can be amended in this same manner as ordinary laws are made uh, the constitution of india is neither rigid nor flexible but a synthesis of both uh, federal system with unity features is another feature of the indian constitution the Constitution of India establishes a federal system of government and contains all the usual features of a federation. Uh, however, it also contains a large number of unitary or non-federal uh, features. Further, uh, another feature of the Indian uh, Constitution is parliamentary form of government. The Constitution of India has adopted the British parliamentary system. Uh, of government the parliamentary system is based on uh, the principles of cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive organs uh, synthesis of parliamentary sovereignty and judicial supremacy the synthesis of par uh, parliamentary sovereignty and judicial supremacy in india uh, represents a delicate balance between the authority of the legislature to enact laws and the power of the judiciary to review and interpret these laws in light of constitutional uh, principles. Further, uh, while Parliament uh, retains the ultimate authority to make laws, the judiciary serves as the guardian of the constitution, ensuring that parliamentary actions uh, adhere to constitutional norms and protect fundamental rights. Another feature uh, is integrated and independent judiciary. The Indian Constitution establishes an integrated and independent judiciary, judicial system in the country. An integrated judicial system means that a single system of courts comprising of Supreme Court, High Courts and subordinate courts enforces both the central laws as well as the state laws. An independent judicial system means that the Indian judiciary operates autonomously free from the influence of the executive and legislative branch of uh, government further fundamental rights is the most important feature of indian uh, constitution the indian constitution guarantees six fundamental rights to all citizens which promotes the idea of political democracy in the country uh, they operates uh, operate uh, as limitations on the tyranny of the executive and arbitrary laws of the legislature directive principles of state policy is another feature of indian constitution the indian constitution contains a set of principles 
in the form of DPSPs, which denotes the ideals that the state should keep in mind while formulating policies and enacting laws. The directive principles seek to establish a welfare state in India by promoting the ideal of social and economic uh, democracy. Further, uh, the another important feature is fundamental duties. Uh, the fundamental duties are a set of uh, moral and civic obligations outlined in the Constitution of India. These duties uh, serve as a guide for citizens to contribute towards building a strong and harmonious nation. Another feature is a secular state. Uh, the constitution of India does not uphold any particular religion as the official religion of the Indian state. Instead, it uh, mandates that the state uh, treat all religions equally, uh, refraining from favoring or discriminating against any uh, particular religion. Universal adult franchise is another feature of Indian constitution. The Indian Constitution adopts universal adult franchise as the basic of elections to the Lok Sabha and the state legislative assemblies. Uh, even citizens, so a citizen who is not less than 18 years of age has a right to vote without any discrimination based on caste, race, religion, uh, gender, literacy, wealth, and so on. Uh, single citizenship. Uh, single citizenship uh, is another feature of Indian Constitution. Uh, is a constitutional principle in India whereby all citizens, irrespective of the state in which they are born or reside, enjoy the same political and civil rights of citizenship all over the country. And no discrimination is made between them on any uh, grounds. Further, uh, another feature is three tier government. The three tier government refers to the division of government powers and responsibilities to the division of governmental powers and responsibilities among three levels the central government state government and local government panchayats and municipalities this uh, central uh, decentralized system allows for effective governance by delegating authority to address regional and local issues promoting a participatory democracy and grassroots uh, uh, grassroots development Another feature is cooperative societies. The 97th Constitutional Amendment Act of 2011 gave constitutional status and protection to cooperative societies. Uh, uh, with this, we concluded today's lecture. In next lecture, uh, we'll discuss the significance of the Constitution of uh, India. Uh, if uh, you have any queries, uh, WhatsApp number is visible there, email ID is visible there, you can contact uh, me on this uh, uh, WhatsApp number and email ID. We'll be coming soon. Uh, please uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Uh, Allah Hafiz.